Inspire Rape Course, I'll be doing two monologues. One is from our town, and the other one is from Three Sisters. I don't like the whole change that's come over you in the last year. I'm sorry if that hurts your feelings, but I've, I've got to just tell the truth and shape the devil. Well, up to a year ago, I used to like you a lot, and I used to watch you while you did everything, because we had been friends for so long. And then you started to spend all your time at baseball, and you never stopped to speak to anyone anymore, not to really speak, not even to your own family. You didn't. And George, it's a fact. Ever since you've been elected captain, you've become awful stuck up and conceited, and all the girls say so. And it hurts me to hear them say it, but I got to agree with them a little because it's true. I guess I always expect a man to be perfect, and I think he should be. My father sure is, and as far as I can see, your father is. There's no reason on earth why you shouldn't be too. Well, I can tell you right now that I'm not perfect. It's not as easy for a girl to be perfect as a man because, well, we girls get more nervous. Now, I'm sorry I said all that about you. I don't know what made me say it. <coughs> I can see now that it's not the truth at all, and I suddenly feel as if it's not important anyway. Tell me, why is it I'm so happy today? Just as if I were sailing along in a big boat with big white sails, and above me the wide blue sky, and in the sky great white birds just floating along. You know, when I woke up this morning and I got up and washed, it was as if everything in the world had become clear to me, and I knew the way I ought to live. I know it all now, my dear Ivan Romanin. Man must work by the sweat of his brow, whatever his class, and that should make up the entire meaning of his life and happiness and contentment. Oh, how good it must be to be a working man, getting up with the sun and breaking stones by the roadside, or a shepherd or a schoolmaster teaching the children, or an engine driver by the railway. Oh, good heavens, it would be better to be a mere ox and horse and work than this sort of young woman who wakes up at 12 and drinks her coffee in bed and takes two hours dressing. How dreadful. You know how one longs for a cool drink in hot weather? That is the way I long for work. And if I don't get up early and start working from now on, you can stop being friends with me anymore, Ivan Romanek. Thank you.